Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Riti and I am back with another lecture in the SQL series. So in the last couple of lectures, we got to know more on the aggregate function, clauses in SQL and much more things. In this particular video, we would be knowing the basic differences between the where as well as the having clause. So without any further ado, let's get started. So uh, when I was teaching about this having clause, many people had a doubt that why are we even knowing about this having clause? Like what this having clause is doing? Having clause is basically helping us to filter out data based on a given condition. So was the where clause. Then what was the need of having clause? So what is the where clause? Where clause is a clause which is basically used to filter rows from the result based on a condition applied to a row before aggregation. So whenever we want a filtered data based on a given condition from a table, we use the where clause. But where clause is always used before aggregation. Now what is this aggregation? So aggregation or you can say aggregate functions are the functions which work on some collated or collected set of data and returns a single value based on some manipulations. Like if we want to find the maximum salary, if we want to find the minimum salary among all the employees, we can use the aggregate function. So aggregate function mostly works on a collated or collected set of rows. So whenever we want to work on some collected or collated set of rows, we use the aggregate function. And here it is saying that where clause is a clause which should always be used before the aggregate functions. It means that we should always be using it on an individual rows, not some group of rows or collected rows. Now what is having clause? So having clause is a clause which is used to filter rows from the result based on a condition applied to a row after aggregation. So whenever we have formed a group such as like there is a group of IT department people, there is a group of HR department people, there is a group of marketing department people. Now in this particular groups, if we want to provide any condition to filter out some data, we use the having clause. So where clause is mostly used before the aggregate functions and having clause is mostly used with the aggregate function. A where clause is mostly used with the select, update and delete SQL commands whereas having clause is mostly used with the group by clause and the aggregate function. Now what we do is we form some groups, on that particular groups we perform some aggregate functions and this aggregate functions returns us a single value and on that particular value we perform any condition using the having clause. So having clause is mostly used with the group by clause along with aggregate functions. Now the query for the where clause is select and then we provide star which basically means all and then we provide from and then we provide the table name from which we are making the query and then we provide this where followed by the condition. In having we mostly give select and then we provide the columns on which we are grouping the data then we provide the aggregate function and then the column on which we are performing the aggregate function then we give from and then we provide the table name on which we are performing the having clause and then we provide the group by and then the columns on which we are grouping the data that is column 1 and column 2 and then we provide this having and then we provide the condition. So having clause mostly works with the group by clause and the aggregate functions where Whereas where clause mostly works with the select, update, delete commands. Where clause is often used whenever we want to filter out some data based on some condition before the aggregation happens. Whereas having clause is mostly used to filter out data based on some given condition after the aggregation happens. So this was the basic differences between where and having clause. I hope you like this video. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're someone who is new to my channel, can go ahead and watch out the tech content first. And if you find it useful, can go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you have not followed me on my social media, Media handles you can go ahead and follow the link is in the description till then take care keep learning keep growing keep smiling bye all